How long have you spent physically connected to the earth this week? If you're anything like me, it's probably very little, if at all. However, over the last seven days, I made a change, and I spent 82% of my time connected to the earth, a total of 138 hours. I went for walks, barefoot, spent time on my earthing mat while at work, and even spent time on the grounding sheet when I slept. And this is how it went. Hey guys, welcome to Joseph's Journey, the channel where we dive into all things spiritual and personal development related. Today we're out in the middle of nature, um, exploring earthing. Earthing is something that I stumbled upon um, when actually looking into making a video about grounding. And because grounding is something that I found, it didn't matter what spiritual uh, aspect I looked into, um, there was always this grounding word thrown around. So when I was looking into it, I saw on Google that earthing was a good way to get started on uh, grounding. And now we're here. So what is it? In simple terms, it's just spending time physically connected to the earth. And it has been found that there are a bunch of different health benefits, um, which include reduced inflammation, pain, reduced stress, um, it improves blood flow, and most of, like, that excites me the most is improves your sleep. So, you might be sitting there going, and me reading it as well was going, how can all this just by walking barefoot, or touching the earth, or touching one of these, these earthing mats that we have here, um, do all of this. But the further I looked into it, the more it made sense. The idea behind it is that the earth is negatively charged, so it has a bunch of these extra negative ions, and when we touch the earth, either through our feet walking, or even just with our hands, or some sort of conductive material, these electrons, neg no, negative ions, throw, throw, bleh, flow into our body, and the idea behind it is that they attach the red blood cells um, and that means they push away from each other making it them harder to clump and as a result it makes it easier for the, the heart to pump blood around the body um, along with uh, some other sort of fancy things that go on and stuff like that but in simple terms that's the idea behind it. So before we go into any further I thought I'd better actually try this out. So if we plug the black cable into the ground, the earth and then if we look in here, when I touch this, this is essentially saying my voltage in my body is 1.43. Uh, if you can see that. And then the idea is, if I touch the ground, as soon as I touch the ground, that should pretty much go to zero. And then if we hop back off the ground, it should go back up to that, that voltage. So essentially what that's saying is that when we're connected to the earth, the, the charge is going up through us and we're equal, like, we've essentially equalised with the, the earth. So now that we've checked that, that the electrons actually do flow into the body, let's go into some research and some studies that have been done on earthing to sort of, to see how they went. If you're not interested in the, the studies and the research or maybe you've looked into it before, you can click the time or we'll go right, right about here and that skips straight into my experience with, with earthing. So, yeah, let's get started. So we're going to quickly have a look at some of the research that's been done on earthing and some of the studies. To start off with, it all began with a 20 persons like case study, individual basis. Um, they all had different sort of health benefits, some chronic back pain, neck pain, circulation problems, sleep problems, and all of that. And on an individual level, uh, they went through and exposed them to earthing, either through um, these little plug-in bits that they did directly onto the skin, or by sleeping on an earthing mat over a number of different nights. So I'm going to quickly go into just a couple of those. So there's one guy, he was 85 years old, and he had chronic back pain, um, or chronic lower back pain and back shoulder pain. And, and you can see at the start they took an infrared scan, and you can see that by the little white arrows, uh, the points of inflammation, or the, the, the main uh, issues, which is in this case was the back and the, the right shoulder. And then what they did is, over the next two nights, they found that 
He came in again, did the scans, and that's what you can see on the right side of the image. And it's worth noting that after the scan, they talked to the guy and they asked him a number of questions and they found out that his pain overall had reduced by 50%. His uh, pain related to sleeping and, and um, yeah, during, during sleep was reduced, to 80, well, reduced by 80% and that he had a 75% reduction in walking and stiff pains. Yeah, after four weeks he had no noticeable pains with his back or shoulder anymore. So yeah, it's, that's, that's quite incredible. So that was just one of the 20 different case studies that have been done in that, in that bit of research. It is worth noting that during that they all experienced some sort of uh, increased circulation or increased sleeping and all of that sort of stuff. But if you're more interested in hearing about some of the other case studies and looking into it further yourself, along with all the other research that I'm about to talk about, all the links will be in the description um, and so you can check those out and, and go from there. So in this next study that I'm going to look into, I found it was quite interesting because it was looking at mood and most of the previous studies that had been done before were all looking at the physical benefits and, and all, all of that. So what they did in this study, there was three different people and they were all tasked with just sitting back and relaxing in a chair, all thinking they were connected to earthing mats and all that that go out to the back. However, half of them actually weren't connected to the earthing mat and yeah, and what they found was there actually was a significant increase after only an hour a significant increase in the mood between the group that had been grounded and hadn't been grounded and yeah so I thought that was that was an interesting sort of thing so what I'm hearing from that is to be happy maybe <laughs> connect to the earth I know we'll see but the last couple of days I'm going to quickly look into are to do with sleep and how earthing can help that and reduce stress while sleeping reduce cortisol <coughs> um, output and all of that so the first study that they did, they got 12 people that had sleeping disorders and, and just didn't sleep well at all and what they found is over an 8 week period they measured their cortisol levels and, and the, the amount of cortisol that was being released and what they found was that after 12 weeks they found that the cortisol hormone secretion became more in alignment with the natural 24 hour circadian rhythm profile and what they found was that all these people, the 12 people that were having these sleep disorders and all of that was, was resolved. So yeah, that's kind of trippy. And the last study that I looked into is to do with sleep and blood pressure. And what we found was that they got a bunch of patients all with hyperextension, essentially a fancy word for high blood pressure. And then over a 12 week period, they slept for 10 hours each day and on these, on these earthing mats. And what they found was their blood pressure reduced anywhere from the range between 8.6 and 22%, which really is it's quite, it's quite incredible. So now there's, there's a bunch of other research that's out there. And if you're more interested in looking into these studies, I'll put the description, well, links in the description, as well as if you want to look more into earthing, there's a really good documentary. Uh, it's called The Earthing Movie on YouTube. And I'll put that in the description as well. And that's a great place to get started if you want more information about how it all works and maybe a bit more of the science and, and all that jazz. But if you want to follow along and see how it went for me, then yeah, let's see how it goes. So, here's the plan. First, I want to spend at least 15 minutes a day barefoot on the earth, either just relaxing or going for a walk. Number two, I want to sleep on an earthing sheet and three I want to use or connect to an earthing mat while I'm at work or at a computer which is actually an alarming amount of time considering I'm a software engineer and in my evenings I also spend a lot of time at my computer so it's simple follow those three for the next seven days and see how it goes but before I can properly execute this I need to find an earthing mat and an earthing sheet and get it all set up. So, before we got started, somehow I had to get my hand on one of these earthing mats. So I looked online, hopped in line, was typing away, looked that you could find you could make your own. Um, there was an earthing brand that seemed quite expensive. And at the start, originally I was going to have to push this video idea, but then magically one managed to manifest itself perfectly timed for this video. So I went back to Blenheim uh, to visit my family for a little bit 
And my dad sort of dragged me along, well, not dragged me along, I was interested in trying one of these spiritual healing groups, and there's actually a video coming on that. But he had, my dad had told one of the ladies there that I had started this YouTube channel, not that I was doing a video on grounding or earthing or anything, and I rocked up and she just had one of these these grounding mats, the full expensive thing that had the grounding sheet, the grounding mat, and, and everything. Uh, and she was like, yeah, you can have it, it's brand new, never use it, she said, just left in her cupboard. And I was just, yeah, it was just crazy that I had been looking at, looking at, literally about to buy one of these, and then I sort of held it off for a bit, and then all of a sudden it just sort of, it came and it just manifested itself. So, let's take a look inside. The earthing kit that we got. Yeah, so first up we got this earthing kit, which I think you put on your bed and use to have while you're sleeping. Um, <clears throat> we also have this earthing universal mat, um, that I think you can either chuck on your computer desk, or sit down, or stand on, or just whatever. Um, and then I think these are the adapters here, that we use to plug into. Um, so I think this plugs into here and then um, either goes into a wall socket or I think you can plug this thing into the ground and then that connects to the, the mat or the, the sleeping thing. And then I think there's just a couple of tester things here to test to make sure that your socket um, is safe and stuff like that. Um, but let's see how it goes. So we're just looking at getting started here and plugging in the earthing um, stuff and getting it set up in my room. Uh, only issue is I sort of live on almost the third floor, or I guess second to third floor, it's sort of confusing. So I'll just show you around. This is the room. I've got to fit this earthing mat on my bed somehow. The only issue is, if we go and look outside, we have a bit of a view, but the only thing is, we're slightly high up, and if we were to, hello, if we were to go over here, and out here, it's also surprisingly high up, and that's also not our property. It's we're sort of okay. Chuck it out the window for a second. Our bit of lawn and stuff like that is down out that way. Okay, so it's just decided to start raining. Um, we're going to try and get it set up anyway. Um, so what I've managed to do is I've just come out here. We've got a little plug in here, this sticks into the ground, hopefully it should follow up here, I'm going to have to throw it over there, yeet, uh, not exactly what we wanted, take that back, and we absolutely banged it, so, that's the first bit, and now I need to throw that through my window, you might be wondering, what, why am I doing this, without asking a flatmate, and the reason is, both flatmates are out at the moment, uh, and I just felt like doing it before the rain gets any worse. Okay, so I managed to throw it through the window, and yeah, what have we got? As it comes in, I found that splitter thing, um, goes down, one one goes into out this way, and then into the, the fitted bed sheet thing, and then the other one goes along down here, and then up behind my laptop, and then into this mat thing here. Now that we're all set up, let's get to earthing. Man, sometimes I wonder what I'm doing, eh? Like, uh, the camera's just been put down, I guess, right next to like the footpath, and people are walking by, looking at me, it's freezing cold, standing in the middle of this grass pitch, with bare feet. <sighs> Goodness knows what they must be thinking, but we'll continue. <laughs> So 
So I've just been sitting here, and I think I've realised something. Earthing itself, I know, touching the ground, yes, there's those those benefits that I talked about earlier. Um, the scientific studies makes you feel better, and it, and it is nice. Um, just sort of sitting here and, and feeling that. But I think it's almost not enough just to do it and just sit there and go, oh, okay, I'm doing it, and then zone off and do something else. It's I feel like it's more about the conscious decision to be there and to sort of not only just be touching the earth but also put some I guess conscious effort into connecting and touching to the earth um, and I think that's where you start to feel slightly better it's it's hard to describe like I, I feel like when I first sat down I was sort of just chilling didn't really have anything and I feel like there was no real change as such and it wasn't until I sort of sat down there and sort of put everything else aside and was just focusing on, I don't know, just connecting either through my feet or, or just whatever was touching the ground and yeah, so, I don't know, I think there's slightly more than just the physical touch that, that that's where the benefits come from I think, but we'll, we'll see. So yeah, for the last day I've decided to turn into a hike instead of just going for a little walk. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. There's something almost calming about just walking in the middle of nowhere with, with no shoes on. Um, it's... What's it? Ow. It, at different points, if I'm looking at the camera and not looking down or whatever, it can be rather painful. Um, but yeah, overall it's actually been quite a nice experience. But yeah, as you're walking, you definitely notice um, people sort of walk by as you're walking in no shoes or, or we're filming this sort of intro and all that. And um, they definitely look at you a bit like, what is it? What is this guy doing? So, I mean, that's just one thing I guess you're just gonna have to get used to if this is something you you do try out. But yeah, it's all part of the fun, right? So, this brings us to the end of our seven-day earthing experience. How did I find it? We'll get started with the the 15 minutes, sort of going for a walk each day and just connecting and grounding to the earth. From there, I think the biggest takeaway that I learnt from doing that was it's not so much the going for the walk, but it's almost what goes on in the head while we're doing that time. Because a lot of, with a lot of these studies and stuff that we were done, they were done over hours or, or days spending on these mats. And I think when you just go for a 15 minute walk, yes, you benefit from those sort of physical things that we've found out. But it, the biggest thing for me was the mental side of things. And, I think it's almost having the intention of being there, staying grounded, which is the real important thing that I guess the, the key takeaway that I found from that is when you're doing something like that, just putting your phone away and just for those 15 minutes, it's just you there connecting with the ground. You might look a bit weird every now and then if someone's walking by, but that was that was that was the key takeaway I learned from that. And I think it's hard to say if that time alone is enough to, to get all of these grounding benefits um, that were done in studies. But it's definitely a good start and it gets you out there, like makes you more refreshed. You're, I know, it's easy I find when I was working, you sort of get in this, this work zone and just taking, taking 10 minutes out of your day to go for a walk just made it, I don't know, it made it break up and I could, I just was able to focus a little bit more. When it comes to the grounding mats, the first one that was like I always had on my computer desk when I was at a computer, um, which for me is an alarming amount of time actually, due to, my, due to my job and what I do in the evenings. But for that, it's hard to say because I can't explicitly be like, oh okay, by doing this grounding mat I increase productivity X amount or anything like that. I, I'm not sure if I did increase productivity, it seems to have similar, but the one thing that I did find was I wasn't as anxious or little things that might bother me usually just didn't. Um, so that was, the, that was the biggest sort of takeaway there was I just felt more relaxed overall and, and just, 
just a lot more calm this week, I think is the point that I'm trying to make here. Now, when it came with the sleeping mat or the sleeping sheet, I think that made the, the biggest difference to me out of all of the all of the things that I've earthing out of all the earthing parts that I've tried this week. And that was because before this week often I would get up at 2 3 in the morning needing to go to the bathroom or if I had something big the next day or anxious for the next day, I would find I just had a really disruptive sleep. I woke up a few I would wake up a few times tossing and turning and it would often take me like quite a while to get to sleep. But with this, the grounding mat, I feel confident enough, at least for this bit, saying that yes, this made a huge difference for me. I managed to get to sleep faster, I didn't wake up at 2, 3 in the morning or whatever, needing to go to the bathroom or anything like that. I always slept fully through, and I just wake up feeling a lot, a lot better than, than I did previously. I also did find that over this week I've recovered from sports a lot faster. Oh, like, usually my body is quite achy. But this week it's been significantly better. I'm not fully confident enough saying, okay, yes, it's because of the grounding mats, but it is something that is more than possible. Like the why that they said, if it's a placebo effect or not like that, that me thinking that maybe because I'm doing this is that, I can't can't confirm that at all. Um, but yeah, overall the sleeping mat, 100% something that I'd recommend and if you're looking to, you can probably just make your own uh, or just find something online and, and, and go from there. So, yeah, anyway, that was my experience for grounding or earthing this week and yeah, I know it's been a bit of a long one so thanks for making it all the way to here. Hopefully it was a little bit engaging, I'm still just learning how, how to do it all. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and if you're interested in what I'm going to do next or what I should try next, uh, just leave a comment. Just quickly, because I want to make this sort of a community thing where we, we go on these sort of journeys together and do them at the same time and learn, learn from each other, I've just started uh, 100 days of meditation. So that means, yeah, for the next day, I'm, every day I'm going to med for, meditate for 10 minutes. It's part of actually a Yes Theory put out a challenge for 100 days of 100 days of meditation or something like that and so that's where I've started I'm literally only at day three at the moment so if you're interested sit down start meditating and let's go on this journey together see ya